as we go to the track systems lights for the Queen City Gambit. Who gets to launch off the line? And it's Myers with a nose out front down to turn one. Ian Quinn to fourth. Gavin Bailiff with a great start there as he sneaks his way into third. And a couple drivers way wide on the high side there in the banking of turns one and two. Yeah, that was one of the magic cards, if I'm not mistaken. I think that could have been any rule there uh, at the back of the field. He found herself uh, there on the dirty side of the racetrack. Josh Conker already in a fight. Gavin Bailiff, a much better start today. Up to P3, but already A.J. Myers falling under fire to the Burrell Art of Jay Irwin. Yeah, Jay Irwin applying a lot of pressure here to the North Carolina-based uh, driver. AJ all over the place through the S's. They're stacked up right now, and they've all got to cover the inside. Here comes Ian Quinn on the bottom of Gavin Bailiff, and around both of them. How about that heads-up move? Justin White to third here as Bailiff drops to fourth, and Quinn to fifth, Billy Musgrave sixth, AJ Myers holding everybody back right now. Yeah, we saw the same thing at the Super Nationals, just lacking for grip in the early stages of races. It could be the same setup uh, for the Magic Park, or a similar setup with very low tire pressure and looking for the long run. There goes Jay Irwin to the bottom of the racetrack in turn number eight, able to get clear. Jay Irwin leads. AJ Myers trying to get right back with him there. Outside, inside, inside again as they all go low to block here early. Justin White on the Marinello having a fantastic start here in this one. He's putting pressure on the multi-time national champion AJ Myers. And Ian Quinn is close enough for Gavin Bailiff to be worried. Turn one, look at this, P4. Quinn, wow, close and through there. Had to get a little bit uh, tight. Bailiff was way wide there and probably in the marbles. He'll lose one more spot because of it. What a start for Michael Riccio to start clawing his way back forward, although now he'll pay for it. Bailiff back through. Yockel's alongside. There's Charlie Steins and Josh Conker in the mix. And Billy Musgrave, Mr. Factory Cart himself, out of this race. Only three minutes in. Josh Conker, the other Factory Cart, out as well. A factory card double DNF. He said he needed a better start, and uh, sometimes he'll lose his spot on the opening lap, and then he ends up making it back up not too long after. But in this case here, Ian Quinn going to bring him a little closer as he gets by Justin White for third. Slick move down in turn 14. Justin going back uh, to work now right behind him. So being as close as they are, this is tough on its own, much less passing each other as Gavin Bailiff gets by Justin White as well in turn eight. Yeah, good move there by Gavin Bailiff in turn eight. Ian Quinn now all over the rear bumper of AJ Myers. He could get passed by another Burrell here. That Magic Card just doesn't seem to have as much grip as the Burrells do. AJ Myers already defending from Ian Quinn. Takes a look back, knows he's there. And AJ Myers knows that Ian Quinn has arrived. Gavin Bailiff as well. Actually, Vincenzo Saraceno was uh, within 200 of Jay Irwin last time by. Just he's buried in the field. If Vincenzo was a little bit further up the grid starting order, he might be in the conversation. He might even be in the one for second, though, because they're getting their elbows out. Quinn versus Myers side by side in turn 14. AJ holds as Quinn goes back to third. Yeah, Quinn having to stay in third, but you know Quinn has a lot more pace than A.J. Myers here. I, I think they both have speed. I mean, you compare it. Irwin did a 40.8 last time by. His personal best, a 40.3, is there's Ian Quinn with a diver in turn 14. Myers can't do anything about it. Ian Quinn to second as, wow, did Justin White and Gavin Bailiff get a little bit sideways in turns one and two. But Quinn completing a PSL guarding one two now as they definitely made a leap forward overnight. Uh, but still, if he can get a top five after this, which it's it's still obviously within uh, strike uh, within sight, uh, that would be a good points haul to get out of Charlotte as Gavin Bailiff is going to fight his way up into fourth. But now an over under from AJ gets the move back on uh, Gavin. Here he goes again to the inside. Myers hangs it tough around the outside lane. He's doing everything he can to keep that magic card magically wide. Yeah, and I don't know if uh, Gavin missed a shifter on the exit of 14, but slowed way down. And there goes Riccio, looked for the move on wide into the bus stop. Wasn't close enough, but he's going to have a good run. Talon Yako has an even better one on the inside of turn eight and clear for the Sony Racing USA machine. Yeah, and all fresh uh, shifter drivers, uh, some of the younger drivers here in this class, uh, but definitely showing their pace uh, so far. Michael Riccio close into the bus stop, goes on the inside, not close enough to get the move done on Talon Yako. Thought about it, but now they lose a lot of time to Justin White, and Yako already trying to defend from the Magic Card. Eli Fox, though, is closing on the two of them and can be there to pick up the scraps. Final lap coming up. Ian Quinn a second up the road. He should be saved for a career-best finish. And uh, in Ian Quinn's case, he's probably thinking, man, 
if this was a year ago, I'd be the winner, but we have added some more international flavor to the Star Series. Jay Irwin, seven seconds up the road, out of sight as the white flag waves. One to go, A.J. Myers versus Gavin Balin for third, and an all-out four-way brawl for the fifth spot with Justin White at the helm over Talon Yockel, the reigning series champion. So through the bus stop for the last time, Myers to Bailiff, they're two car lengths apart. And here's your leader coming into turn 10 and 11, Jay Irwin through the S's for the final time. I don't know if we'll see much for third, so we'll give the honors to the Kiwi Kid. The New Zealander has a long flight home. It's about to go a lot easier. He dominates the Queen City Gambit here in Charlotte. Jay Irwin, what a performance all weekend long. The 15-year-old wins, and Ian Quinn completes the PSL 1-2. A.J. Myers third, then Gavin Bailiff a hard fought and close fourth. Justin White gets away a little bit on the last lap as Talon Yonkel slows down there.